Hey guys, last fan of the night. Last fan of the night. Last fan of the week, technically. Yeah. Technically. This is a one I've been excited to test for quite some time. This is a Sears Emerson Turn of the Century. This is the very earliest version of the KB style, 1895 style Turn of the Century, like that did not have a drop flat wheel. Mm -hmm. You can tell that because it has the stepped blade irons. And, um,. We it had been some discussion about whether the Sears versions actually came with step blade irons, and this one in particular because you notice this is plain. There's no ornate features whatsoever, which is already uncommon. But then plain with the step blade irons, we weren't even really sure if they existed. This one's from 1983. I saw it too. So there's, oh, okay. There's that. Um, yeah, I uh, I would like to find any of these with the stepped irons. So if anybody else has one, I'd be very interested to find out more. Um, even though I don't, we'll find out in this video, but generally speaking, I believe the stepped iron ones don't perform quite as well as the later ones. At least that's true with 1895s. We'll see if it's true with the Sears's. Yeah. Is that like a smudge or something on the side band there? It's driving me nuts. Like a fingerprint? <laughs> Maybe. We'll edit this in post. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, he sees it. Yeah, they were just fingerprints. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, anything you want... Oh, by the way, patreon.com slash dspiffy. Uh, mm -hmm. Anything you want to say about this, Rick? Um, yeah, it is, it is very cool. I love Turn of the Centuries. It's one of my favorite Emersons. I've got a... I, I think my overall favorite is the early 80s one with the just regular K55 drop flywheel. That's the kind I, I like the best. However, this one is really cool in that you don't see like the plain Jane looking Sears ones very often because usually they have the ornate sideband and you know like you know a little bit nicer irons and blades than that and this this is very base model looking but it's it, it's really nice I mean it's and it's also textured white too that's not like smooth white it actually is kind of that like uh, texture to it so yeah. very cool yeah no this is a very cool variant I've never seen one of these before so. yeah it's funny because uh, Skyler and I were just talking about whether or not these existed and then I found this one immediately after and I haven't told him I found it yet because I wanted to surprise him with the video so mm -hmm. um, yeah but I really would like to find it in brown because I mean I like white but I mean I, don't, there's, I have fewer places to install a white residential fan than I do a brown residential fan mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if these came in all brass or all I don't, I'm pretty sure they did not come in all polished. They might have come in all antique. I think I saw an all antique one. Um, plain, like, plain, like this, except... Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure plain. And uh, they did come in brown and brass, you know, with the stepped irons. Not sure about white and brass. It's never been seen before. Brown and brass with the stepped irons has been seen. Mm -hmm. um, and this one's a four-speed, too, yeah. as, as is the case with a lot of... Any uh, of the stepped irons when it fans should yeah. be four-speed. Mm -hmm. Um... What was I gonna say? Yeah, you were talking about favorites. Like for me, you gotta make like for Sears fans, you gotta get real specific for me to pick a favorite. Like you, you go favorite Lasco Sears fan, I could probably pick. If you, I mean, I favorite favorite Emer, favorite seventies Emerson, I could probably pick. Um, favorite dropped flywheel eighties Emerson, maybe I could narrow it down. Uh, favorite eighteen ninety five style Sears fan, I could probably narrow it down. But like. Any more, any broader than that, and I just have too many favorites. I yeah. Sears catalog was huge to me as a kid. Like, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Some of the like most significant, most influential fan memories to me involved Sears stores and Sears catalog, which is why I'm so very sad that Sears is gone. Yeah, yeah sad. Yeah, I know that is sad to see that that kind of watch it crumble. I think I think after Menard, Sears was probably the most influential store of my childhood. They had the catalog. Mm -hmm. They had the actual store. Everybody ordered from them. You saw their products everywhere. You know, Menards probably tops it for me because we were we were devoted Menards customers, and uh, they had the weekly news circular thing that was almost like a catalog. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's talk. Anything else you want to say? No, it's like I guess this is a really cool fan. I'm, I hope we could maybe find a place to hang it or something. I would love to, but I don't know where a white fan fits. That's I don't have any. I guess I have two full-size white fans in my bedroom right now, but I don't know that this would really fit that pattern. Uh, where else do we have white fans? You can put it in your kitchen. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's not... I like my... Yeah. I was going to say, if we were going for a more utilitarian look in the youth center lobby, 
But, I mean, again, I think those SMCs are kind of... I don't want to change the SMCs. I love them. Yeah, I don't think those are worth changing. I love the placement, too, especially the one right in front of the door. It's so yeah, cool to me. It's, it's perfect. It's very tired to me. It's very tired. Um, okay, so let's... So it's, it's on the, the lowest setting, which is yeah. speed... That seems a little fast for the lowest setting, but maybe. Yeah, yeah I, feel like, I feel like the early ones had a like tighter range of speeds. Did like, I? Yeah, that's probably... But I could be wrong. Okay, well, it's, it's drawing 0.2 amps. Give me a little power 24 power factor, watts, thanks. and yeah, 0.4 power factor. Yeah. So, yeah, so that should be the lowest setting. Let me yeah, if it were brown or brown and brass, I would have immediate places to hang it. It'd be a great barbershop fan. Is that all? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess that was. Okay, so that was. So here is medium low. Yeah, that's not real different. A little bit faster, but yeah, 0.31 amp. Have I told you? I think I put in the workbench video my theory as to why they did four speed fans. 0.65 amps. Just the one up Casablanca. No, uh, because prior to this, they had a variable speed version with the knob, oh, but it didn't so... play well with the KB. Oh yeah, so they had to come up with a broader range of speeds. I mean, the very well didn't the didn't play well with the K55 either, frankly. It was okay with the KB, not nearly as bad as the KB. Yeah, no, you're right, but. So, okay, so this is, uh, that's a nice medium low. Uh, let's go to medium high. Amazing to think that you could order a fan from the Sears catalog for a relatively budget price and get a K55 type Emerson. Yeah, no, that's, that's crazy to think about. I mean, they're, those are really solid fans. Yeah. 0.46 amps, 55 watts, and a whole power factor. Yeah, this is going to be a direct. Yeah, so these are these coil, speed motors. It's coil, yeah. coil tap speeds on the higher ones. Okay. There's straight high. does have a hum to it, um, but that's pretty common with these. Yeah, they're metal on metal. There's not a lot of vibration isolation, which is why they're so terrible with uh, yield. Oh, boy, yeah. And solid state control. I mean, uh, we should get a nice read. We should. You never know. Or we're just going to not get any readings. Rick has become very bad at so many yeah, things. Yeah, we, we need to be here if he's here. Yeah. The thing about his metalness, he is very metal. 682? Seems very slow. Is this 52 or 54? I think it's 52. We'll have to measure it. 682, you say? Um. That's like one, I think actually. Said six eighty two is what you said. That's like one set of any one. It seems. I guess that's not terribly six, slow. Oh six. No six eighty two. Really clean now. Yeah. Okay. So, one seventy one. Okay. Definitely slower than. Uh, it's look. It looks faster than one seventy one though. Eh, I could. Say, yeah, maybe a little. But. Get a good reading from it, and then we'll. I want to measure it and just make sure. Make sure it's not fifty four. Yeah, I think with the pointed tip blades it'd be fifty two because normally it's a flat tip that make it fifty four. Yeah. You do. You are holding it quite an angle, just so you know. Four seventy two. I'm going to assume it's 52 and calculate it, at, but after spin down, you can measure it. Yeah, I will let it spin down. So that's about 7,000 on the nose. Which checks, because like a Casablanca is about 8,000, 8,100. Right. So, um, this being a little slower. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think the, I think the second, you know, as uh, the Neon Fan Company would say, the second generation... Uh, 1895s, I feel like those do perform a little better. Because, like, that, that brass one I have was a really nice range of speeds. Like, it's a very slow low all the way up to, like, a decent high. Like, I would say faster than those. I don't oh, know. I'm so tired to notice my computer was making dinging noises. I hate when it does that during the video, so I find it very distracting. But apparently that's not distracting when you're asleep. <laughs> hmm. Rick and I have gotten many things done over the last couple days. Um, and not any of them are sleeping. Oh, yeah, there was sleep, but just, I, I think today has just been a very physically uh, taxing day. Yeah. I think. Okay, so let's, let me uh, measure it real quick. 
Yeah, I think it is 52, though. Let's I, see. I think it looks good. Do you want to do this one in reverse? Do at least high reverse so we can see if it's faster or slower. Yeah, that's 52. Yeah, we can do that. Turn the sun. Do I do zero to high now? Yeah, sure. Big in rush, small in rush. I'm gonna say big in rush. I'll say small. I don't even remember what it drew in forward. Do you? I think it was about the same. It looks slower. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll put it in forward again just to see. So yeah. it's point eight one. I don't. That think was no one. That was no one rush well, at all. Attack it before you. Definitely looks slower. Forty-four. That's a little slower. Probably a little bit. Not much, but yeah, I guess it's kind of enough. Yeah, it's about ten RPM slower. Yeah, those step blade arms really do make a visible difference in the design of it. It's yeah, no, it's 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 interesting looking. I still when I picture an eighteen ninety five or you know this era of turn of the century, I always picture the second, the later of the smooth ones, but. Because those are, I think, were the first ones I ever saw. Let's see if it's a different in rush. I don't think it will be, but one of the things I learned in the um, in the uh, 1895 workbench video is that there's actually three different versions of irons for these for 1895 type hands. Right. There's a the, stepped. This is the first one. Yeah. Then smooth, like they're basically like this. Then smooth. Then there's ones that are smaller. So there's like a gap between the motor housing and the irons. Yeah. No, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, the really light ones were like that. Yeah. So it actually went up to 0.82, and there was no inrush, though, so. Okay. Uh, oh, boy, solid state. Mm. Oh, no, we got to do decade box first. Oh, yeah. Well, still, 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 and we know this. Yeah, solid state's going to be interesting. We know that. Watch it be, like, exactly the same without any noise. You never know. Could happen. You never know. We've, we've, we've been surprised many times by emergency. Where do you think it's going to start? I'm going to say three on this. Okay, I'll say four. Okay. One. Two. Wow. I was thinking of two, and I was like, no, really? I I was on the defense between two and three. I just couldn't remember. I figure KVs are a little more efficient sometimes there. Okay. All right, so here is three. I could see this installed against those like fifties asbestos tiles. Oh, absolutely! I feel like that would be a hundred percent accurate, like or you know, like perfect for this kind of thing. Four. This is five. Nice low. Here's six. Seven. And eight. This is eight. Crunch. 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 Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 
option. Clicks in. Clicks in. Seventeen. Eighteen. Getting close. Nineteen. You ready? And twenty. Crunch, 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 crunch. crunch, crunch. All right. 21. 22. 23. 24. 25. Might as well just max it. Yeah. So there's all the skip. Uh, that's 30. You just hit the 40 switch. Yeah. Still on there. Yeah, it's not even. We're not even. Okay, there. so now is the real moment of truth. This will be interesting. Yeah. I'm. I mean, I'm gonna say noisy. I hope I'm wrong, but I'll I think... say living room. I hope both of us are wrong. Bedroom quiet would be wonderful. Silent would be a miracle. But again, there's no rubber anywhere in this design. Right, and in theory, if you wanted to, you could rubber wash the hell out of it, and it probably would help. Or even just changing the mounting, too. Well, that's something. what I used to do when I had these installed friction, in my Friction drive mount. They used to put on a friction drive mount, and then it was that. silent. Yep. All right. <laughs> well, not silent. Yikes. Yikes. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, oh man. What's crazy is that they sold variable speed controls as an option with these. That's not... I've heard worse. Yeah, there's definitely worse. How, what was the other loud one we tested today? The uh, Beverly Hills? Beverly Hills was pretty loud. I thought the the Hunter was, had, was pretty loud too, wasn't it? What was the loudest of the ones we tested today? This for sure. This is louder? Yeah. So this is solidly out of the living room category. Yeah, I think this loud. is loud, unfortunately. Yeah. That's just obnoxious. I mean, that... That I hear the blades reverberating more than anything. I think rubber washers between the blades and the irons, and maybe even between the irons and the motor, might make a world of difference. It's not too bad on the low end, but it's just right in that middle spot where it's, where it's the worst. Okay, well, how does this do on the Rick test? Oh, man, I like it a lot. I'd say avocado plants. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's weird. It's Sears, it's Emerson. I mean, there's, it's all very positive. I even like this white finish. Like, I'm, white fans aren't too. always my favorite, but this is a particularly attractive white. No, I, 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 I sound like a Trump supporter. <laughs> it, um, it, no, I, yeah, I agree. This is it. Normally, I'm somebody who wants brass and brown and not, not just plain white, but this, no, this, this actually does look I used good. to insist on white fans in kitchens. I don't know why. I guess that was because the kitchen was supposed to be bright and clean, and you, you know, didn't I want suppose, it. yeah. I mean, honestly, that most of the ones I've hung in my kitchen have been white. Honestly, I mean, the, the or or mostly, you know, white and something. Well, I like it muchly, and um, it's metal. I'm very I glad. Oh, I bet you it's metal. Oh, he hung yeah. he hung a similar one in the enclosure, so it's got to be yeah, metal. Got to be metal. Okay, well, that's it. Um, that's the last fan that Rick and Eric are going to be testing together for a while because Rick's going to go off on some excursions. Hopefully, he'll bring back some fans. Man, and, like uh, them, maybe. So as always, please support our sponsors. Tell us, tell, let's talk some more about our sponsors, Rick. So our legacy sponsor, Fanstick. You know what the slogan is for Fanstick, Rick? Fanstick is the solution to all of my problems. All of our problems. Where can they go to find out more about Fanstick? Buy Fanstick dot com. Buy Fanstick dot biz. If you prefer the Florida version, the it's Florida Fanstick dot biz, not buy Fanstick dot biz. Oh, so. So it's byfanstick.com, fanstick.biz, lightstick.biz. Light light if you want the Florida edition, which is 69% longer and harder, the regular fanstick, you go to byfanstick, or is it byfanstickxxx? Yes. Byfanstickxxx.com. Okay. I'm a little hungry. I've had breakfast and lunch. I did not have dinner. Uh, I, I, I didn't even get a chance to stop at the like less impressive Mexican restaurant that I was thinking of stopping on the way home. Mm. Um, but where did I really want to go, Rick? Taco Burrito Mexico. Taco Burrito Mexico. Because I wanted a taco, a burrito, or a Mexico. Maybe next time. Yes. Um, and I would wash that down with a... With an ice cold Sperry. Even room temperature Sperry is delicious. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the fan collector's beverage of choice. What's the slogan for Sperry, Rick? Well, my, I still like... It's pretty good. But the, it, it's... Sperry. It's, it's, it's very good. It's very good. Okay, um, 
Well, we, we are speaking of noisy fans. If you want the perfect wall control for a noisy fan, 81220 LLC, where our motto is... Crunch, crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. Um, and, and you know where else they could have those manufactured if they did not want the quality to be too high? You, could, you always can go with the good manufacturing company. Good manufacturing. I wonder if it was somebody's name was good. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, or, I mean maybe it was just an inside joke or something. I, I don't know. Did people have a sense of humor back then? I think they did. I mean, clearly, they, I mean, somebody signed the thing in Youth Center bullshit underwear in 1940. So, that's I mean, true. That's, you know, they, they probably did. But that's Youth Center. Like, that is I, Youth, Center. Be youth Center's it. a different animal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, anything else? Let's see. Uh, Rick or Sheep the game. And you should play Rick or Sheep if you haven't yes. already. We, you know, I might, I might throw in some, some few different options there. It might be, there may, it might be some uh, cats. Oh, which yeah. Which might confuse the, uh, the players. Mm -hmm. uh, you see the cats when you were at the barn tonight? Um, from a distance. There was, I, none in the barn. When we but. pulled up, um, when I came there and we pulled up, there were several, like, right in the driveway there. Mm -hmm. They scattered when uh, when I pulled in. But, yeah, they definitely, they want to be inside the barn. So, oh, yeah. Uh, they'll, they will come in and then they'll just run away when we get there. But uh, that's because they're feral. They're not, uh, yeah, they're not domestic. One of them, one of them will let you pet them. Well, sometimes. yeah, one of them is very, very friendly and the rest of them are just, like, Yeah, just, like, straight, straight cats. But. Um... Okay, I think that's all the sponsors. So, as are, yeah. always, patreon.com slash dspiffy for more information. Uh, as always, please continue to... Bye, fans. Bye, fans. Thanks for watching.